What's up guys, Anthony here from Bogey Town Golf and today I wanted to do a bit of a video for all those beginner golfers out there. Um, I've been playing since the age of six and I'm now 27. I've kind of come and gone from the sport of golf and um, as you can see in my previous video, I kind of went through the clubs that I currently own and um, that kind of thing. So today I wanted to discuss a couple tips specifically for beginners. Um, so if you're somebody who's used to playing golf, you can probably scroll on through. This, get, this video is aimed specifically at people who are new to the game of golf. I'm going to be discussing grip, as well as why we wear a glove, and um, a couple other little tips and tricks as well. So, let's get right into it. So let's start straight off with the grip. So obviously this is the grip of the golf club. As you can see, it's a nice, nice rubber kind of grip. You'll see with irons, which is specifically what these are, they have either a steel or a graphite flex, a graphite material shaft. They'll have ladies, regular or stiff shafts. Um, lady shafts are more softer compared to regular or stiff. And these, which I currently own, are stiff shelves. So discussing the grip, we put our left hand on, strictly like that. Kind of like you're just like gripping a club normally. So this is if you're a right-hander, which I am. I'm a right-handed golfer. So we place our left hand on the grip, just like that. And then we wrap our little finger around this finger right here, like that. And have the rest of them just sitting on the club, and our thumb is then going down the club. Same as our left thumb here. So it kind of feels like a natural grip, and depending on what kind of shot you're hitting, you can grip close to the end of the club or like choke down a bit, and it's always going to be the same grip, no matter who you or what club you hit, unless you're hitting, unless you're using a putter. So that... <laughs> This grip pretty much most people use who play golf. Um, this helps with stability and a few other things as well. So to give you a backwards view, go around like that and like that. And that's it. That's how you grip club. Straight like that. As I said, that's for somebody who is a right-handed golfer. If you were a left-handed golfer, it would be the opposite. Like that. And you would hit it the other way. You'd swing the other way. Next up, this is another thing for beginner golfers. Obviously, this whole video kind of is about beginner golfers. Um, we're going to go through kind of the swing mechanics a little bit. Now, you might have just been in your backyard hitting a couple foam golf balls around, just kind of getting used to it, or hitting a couple real golf balls around, depending on how big your land is. I was just outside, I've got two dogs, so I was just outside with a flipping lob wedge, full swinging a tennis ball. Just because, you know, it's easier than throwing it, it's something I enjoy doing. So, yeah. Anyway, um, you might have no idea. We've gone over grip, and you might have no idea about swing mechanics. So, as I said, I'm a right-handed golfer. So, the way we address the ball is, and I'm facing away from the camera, so I'm going to be hitting this way, if I were to hit a golf ball. So, I'm, I'm currently using a 7-iron. So what we do is we try and go, What a good thing to get into the habit of, and I'll face you for this, is to, with your stance, to go shoulder width. So left foot first, and then right foot. And you can kind of move around a little bit to adjust your stance, and that way you're ready to hit a golf ball, just like that. You're, when we, when we're facing this way away, as you can see, shoulder length apart, shoulder width apart, not shoulder length. You're gonna position the golf ball. Let me just grab the golf ball real quick. Position, I'm gonna face towards the golf ball, so we're away from the camera. So you're gonna position the golf ball, facing this way. This is probably a new way of doing it. So we dress the ball, shoulder width apart, and the ball is going to be off our left heel. So that means like when we line up the ball to our front foot, it's going to be on the left heel. That way, if it's too far back in our stand, stance, when we swing the club, we're going to hit down on the ball. 
So we're going to take a big divot, probably fat it, and it's going to come out very low. And that's good if you're hitting under trees, but for a regular golf shot, we want it to go high, pick up in the wind, that kind of thing, you know? Stop on a green if you want to get some spin, that kind of stuff. So remember, shoulder width apart, and then off our front left heel. That's very important to remember. Next up, we're going to go through some swing mechanics. So we just have, in this video, we've addressed grip, where the ball should be off your left foot, how wide apart your feet should be, equivalent to your shoulders. And now we're going to go over some of the swing mechanics as well. So for this, the easiest angle is to face away. Get rid of that golf ball so I don't accidentally hit it. So what we want to do, again, feet, shoulder width apart. I'm hitting a 7-iron here. We want to stick out our butt, I guess. So we want to be slightly leaning over. Knees slightly bent, not too bent. Slightly bent. As again, feet shoulder width apart. And we want to naturally feel like we're just standing in like a even uh, weight on our feet evenly, maybe a little bit towards your toes, weight on your toes a tiny bit so your heels can somewhat come off the ground, but you want to feel in like a natural position. For, uh, initially it might feel a little weird, it might feel like you're going to topple over, and when you swing a golf club it might feel real strange, but this is a very natural way to address a golf ball, this is how most people do it. Again, stick your butt out a little bit, lean over, and that's it. So addressing the ball, again, we take our grip and bend over a decent amount. And then what we want to do is bring the club back to like a, what we used to call it when we were taught was parallel A position. So just like that, in a straight line. So this, parallel A, right there. Parallel B, right there. So then this is pointing at the golf ball. Just for demonstration purposes. I'm not going to hit this. Again, we take our stance. We go parallel A, parallel B. So then the base of the club is pointing at the ball. Parallel C. And then you go through. And that's it. Nice and easy. So again, for somebody who's just picking up golf, um, we want to be able to take a nice, relaxed stance. Club head is obviously very squared where you want to hit it. Shoulders should be pointing, the left shoulder should be pointing slightly up. If you're hitting a driver, it will be more so. And you'll just naturally take a swing, weight on your front foot. Swing back. Sure. Obviously, I'm not trying to hit this ball because it would go through that wall. So, yeah. But, again, we just go parallel A, like that. Parallel B. Parallel C. See, my left knee is kind of bent as well, going back. And as we follow through, our, our right hand foot is going to turn up. Just like that. Now, a big thing as well to avoid gives you a better idea of my feet. This left foot, when you swing back, it's gonna hit that wall, but it shouldn't come off the ground. Your left foot should stay planted the whole way through. Obviously, I gotta compact the swing a little bit because of this wall. Again, let me just give you an idea of how it works. So this is gonna be a full swing, feet shoulder width apart, ball off your front left foot, Weight slightly forward, shoulders slightly up, pointed up, parallel A, B, C, through. Nice and easy, just like that. So that kind of gives you an idea of how to swing a club. It's going to take you a little bit to kind of un hit a ball straight, let alone nice, flush, perfect. Even me, I have my bad days. I haven't played golf in them. Um, well, I took some time off of golf and I'm getting more into it now because where I live we have winters and all that kind of stuff so you gotta have some time off of golf so yeah 
hopefully that's been helpful. If you've got any questions or any ideas for future videos, send me a comment in the comments below. Leave me a comment, I should say. Please like and share this video, and I'll see you in the next one. I'll definitely be doing more kind of coaching videos and more in-depth stuff as well. And another idea I do have for a video is three clubs. If I had to play golf, there's only three clubs or four clubs. What would they be? So, again, if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.